business analyst is somebody who analyzes the business and then creates um, use cases and all that stuff. When it comes to analytics, you do more of um, a BI stuff like querying the database, finding the data. So business analytics is nothing but a mix. You are a business person, but you're also doing the data stuff. My decision was to take a nine month course and which was not the right decision. I don't think that I should have taken this, but now that it's done, it's dusted. Uh, but whenever somebody asks me, should you take a nine month program? I always say no, because when you take a nine month program, you do not have the time to apply for internships. And I think the way the course is structured, it's not pretty flexible. I think uh, going for a longer um, master program would give you the opportunity to go look for a job, talk to people, make contacts. Uh, and that is that is really important here. Networking is really important. It was a morning class for three days and then one evening class. And then there was a programming class on Saturdays. The rest of the day you are working on assignments and every assignment has a deadline. So I think if it's given on Monday, you have until Sunday to uh, submit it. Total, it's 33 credits. Every semester is broken into two modules. Module A, you have all mandatory courses. In the second term, there are three mandatory courses in one elective and that one elective will be chosen from maybe marketing domain or maybe technical domain. In the second semester module A, you will have two electives. So you will have two mandatory courses and two electives, uh, which is again, you have to pick up from the marketing side or the other data side. And then the last semester two module B, you will have three electives and one mandatory course. don't know if you can switch like I have not seen people switching I would suggest taking uh, business intelligence advanced SQL it's important consulting companies who do require a 3.5 above GPA uh, that's also a decent GPA I know that MBA folks do get a lot of scholarships. I, yeah, I don't know if they give it to MSBA candidates. You might, t you, won't, you might want to take a Python course or uh, statistics, whichever you think that you need to brush up.